What up, you pack? I am back with another gameplay of Life is Strange 2. If you don't know who I am, I'm a you pack Ali, aka Ali from the you pack. You, the you stands for unity. We are the unity pack. We are a Chicago family, a Chicago group, a Chicago collective. But I am the one playing this gameplay, so let's get into it. The last thing I remember is um, Daniel using his powers. Cause that buddy Finn tried to take him to steal money from the safe. He ended up using his powers. I saved bro, I saved bro from getting shot with the boomstick. He had the, the double, not the double barrel, but you know, he had the gauge on him. He had the, on him, you know, the boomstick. And we intervened with Daniel. So now let's see how it goes. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them and everybody loved the little wolf who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. Mm -hmm. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. That's crazy. So we currently don't know where Daniel is. I would say with this gameplay, Life is Strange outdone themselves. This is definitely the best Life is Strange so far. This one blows the first one out of the water. Like, as far as improvement, they did that. As far as, as, far as writing this story, they did that. 
They did that. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish I'd listened. When you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I know that I'm like, this gotta be his mind or a dream, bro. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Uh, stop! I'm in a hospital. Oh my God, no. Two months later, after the blast at Merrill's. Fuck. Damn. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them, too. I really hope they could keep going. It says, <clears throat> the cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you and Finn, except that you were injured and in police custody. That's how I got the hospital name. They interviewed, interrogated me, Hannah, Penny, and let us go. Both of you weren't so lucky, I uh, guess, I guess, or maybe you earned it. I hope you're okay after what happened. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah, but Hannah Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us uh, gutter punks trolling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real, our real family is kind of broken up. And now we're just a lonely trio. Train hopping up. Uh, hold on, hold on. This, this, this paper kind of... There we go. Okay, it says train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going into uh, going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't uh, saying we got we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. S changes, right? I know you're going to trial soon over C the Seattle situation. I hope you will get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home. Peace, Cassidy. Damn. Can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for the card, agent. <sighs> Can't wait to text you. <sighs> Can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. It's a date March 26, 2017, was in coma for weeks, blinded, blind and effed. In police custody, going to jail soon. Uh, hospital freaks me out. Hate, hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. It's the 30th. Tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. No death perception, no art, no ish, no ish uh, focusing, immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. It says, Special Agent Flores, she's trying to bomb me, trap me, or trust me. So effed. Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. And he out there, uh, Jean Grey style. Magneto, bro, he cool. April 11, 2017. I mean, yeah, 2017. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are at Nano. April 15th. 
Claire and Stephen sent me a nice letter, so lonely. I read it twice. Weird now. Weird how I missed them now. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit too. Um, glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he's around. April 25th, I effed Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. That's an okay start. But I can keep going. Find a highway to freedom. This must be my punishment. Glad Stephen's leg is better. Must be tough on Claire. Okay, it says we are grateful to find out that you were safe. You are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. Uh, we weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up from their coma stronger, stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help him too. Sean, hopefully this reflects well, uh, reflects well during your trial. We know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember you were family, uh, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you uh, in Jolina Shores as soon as we can. Take care, Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a little note. It's attached to this letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. <laughs> That's that little superhero. He says, Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I am fine, but I miss both of you a lot. When you are coming back, Dad has been uh, been better lately. He says hello, and you are fishing now that summer is here. Uh, we do a lot of stuff outside now. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I will be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirits. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from Beaver Creek from swamp bugs. That's clean. Yay! Stupid reality shows. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, guess I'm done. Man, okay. this room drives me nuts. 
What are we talking doing? Come to on, someone would be at least. What are we doing now? A change. Sure, we must hate the sound of this thing. Yo, afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. My boy, they got his line of right. Y'all must have heard me complain like about the last episode. Hard to tell. This is a decent black representation. That's what I'm talking about. Aha. Uh -huh. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... You know. Before they... We know, bro. Come check on. Check you out. Check me out, Joey. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. I need to buy some more blood for it. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Straining too hard? Right, it. Slow nah. down, bro. Nah. I just can't really focus today. Sorry. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. Bro, I'll bro. try it. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. I'm like, bro. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember... Your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. You can try. But you can't rig the exam, Sean. Monopoly be busting, boy. That teaches you a lot about stuff in life. You need it's to play to Monopoly. You. Sorry. Your vision has You want to start businesses. Lot. Learn Monopoly. You don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> it ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. That's Flores. Do you mind if we okay. talk alone? Mind okay. if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence is gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. 
You might spend the rest of your life in prison. He killed your father. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside. Then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's statement matches with each other. Sean. They're keeping that secret. Here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. You think I had a fucking choice? It's the only job I could get. Right. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. <laughs> oh, yeah. The police would help me. Right. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Right. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. And what about Cassidy? Why was she into it? To get even? She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. Damn, that's tough. Like, I didn't want any of this. I don't know shit. the right answer for this. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. Clearly. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. Yeah. That's just karma for dragging Daniel into this shit. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Lucy Rose Jones. Wonder where Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. That coat shit she got on her face. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. My boy's name is Baptist Dean Michael. She's speaking Spanish. She said, I only heard Pope of War loud, which is please. Sorry I know some Spanish. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? 
You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. Damn. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. This just hit me like, bro, do you know how important discipline is in your life? Like, when a person is telling you not to do something, it's not always like they being mean to you. They telling you this for your own best interest, bro. When I think about Sean, this man is suffering since the beginning of the game to the end of the game based on this, the decisions made by his brother not listening to him it started with the zombie blood like the he created the zombie blood out of uh, corn syrup and um, I think food coloring and Esteban shout out to Pops that passed away told him not to go outside and this man still went outside got the zombie blood on dude and then him and Sean got into a fight so it's like Everything that's happening to Sean is based off Daniel not listening to what he's saying. So I'm literally in this place with an eye patch. Um, finna go to, to Juvie because this man was not listening to nothing I'm telling him, bro. And I, we had this conversation. I had this conversation with quite a few friends. Sometimes parents, they don't understand the predicament they put in on their children, especially the firstborn. Being I'm the firstborn out of all the children that, like I'm the firstborn of seven. You don't realize that you're putting more and more and more responsibility on that child that they never asked for. And now you, you putting him in charge of the responsibility that the parents created. So like I said, I mean, it's just Daniel and Sean, but Daniel has done enough for other siblings. He he's like seven children in one. He's he's not listening, bro. Look I out. keep biting the bullet for this man. God now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, uh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying. You don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now, as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. 
You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you got to do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a chip. Oh, shit. Oh, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. W black representation, man. That's what I be talking Joey, about. Bro. You are her boss. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up That's with funny. Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. Huh? Does that mean? It means that Daniel. Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. <clears throat> it says, had a few beers, Daniel's asleep, same night, every night. Um, he wants to train more, but he don't know, I mean, he don't have time. Plus, we got a high, it's not easy. Sean, I brought a blanket and a few things from your tent. We'll give you, I mean, we'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. He's waiting for you, Jake. Oh, he with Jake. I'm like, Jacob. Okay.
All I gotta do is find that page with Jacob's home. Thank you. That's why I'm like, give me a hint, bro. Like, you never said anything. Okay, um... Meet the new workers from Europe, Anders and Ingrid, or Ingrid. Cute couple makes me want to travel overseas someday. Had a long talk with Jacob. He's like a little kid. He's lived in some religious commune from Haven Point, Nevada. Looks fine here. Free? Okay. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. I'm glad he had finally said something I didn't know what to do I didn't know what I was looking for I'm going to just turn through all these pages bro okay. Can you say something Time to clear off now This whole hospital is so quiet mm. So don't make any noise and Find a way to get the hell out of here Need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world is in this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. It's dead tonight. Works for me. Climb down the side of the building or die trying. <clears throat> Am I missing anything else? Let me see. Okay. Open that window with my bare hands. Joe is the only one who helped me get through this shit. Nada. some privacy please let's see I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard wish I could just walk out Gotta be somewhere around here. I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Say I need an aspirin or something. Um, before that, it's supposed to be quiet. Let me expect everything before I do every, before I do something like that.
this one isn't screwed in. I could pull it off, but it's gonna be loud. Wait, he said he doesn't have his bag, there right? There must be a way to leave this room without alerting anyone. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Looks so fake, but it might work for a second. <sighs> yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. About to tear it off. I'm trying to see. I'm sorry I'm taking okay. so long, y'all. I'm just trying Can't to make sleep. sure. This is your big chance, dude. Is he gonna show up? I'm like, bro, what's taking so long? You got business in there? Patient call. Just gotta see what our boy needs. Good. I need a smoke break. Hey, that's your job. Go for it. Hey, there's my second favorite patient. <laughs> gotcha. You. you never stop working, Joey. I'm doing a double night shift. Diane is out with a flu, so lucky me. Yeah, I'm fried. But that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada. With, um, a friend of ours. Fuck. Sean, that's awesome. Now that's good news. Nevada sucks, but <laughs> at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey, I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me? Joey, I'm so scared. I've never felt like this. Like, I'll be in jail for life, and I'll never see Daniel again. I can't do it, man. I hear you, man. I swear, that kills me to see you in that situation, Sean, but you really want me to help you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. 
sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Okay, stop. Fuck. I'll try to help you. Really? Yes, sir. Let's go. Be honest. <laughs> no. I'm stupid. <laughs> so let's do this right. Find something to hit me with. What? Why? You're not gonna hurt me that bad. I'll tell them you attacked me from behind in the dark, that I didn't see shit. They can't prove I let you get away. I hope. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I gotta Thank see my brother. So Hurry up before I change my mind. <laughs> Man, you even made a fake body. Got no choice now. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. noise Joey's the real deal I feel bad I dragged him into this uh, okay I found that grab bar in the bathroom that should do I guess now listen carefully just tap me right here. No, bro. I, I was like, I should get this leg or something, bro. Like, come on, G. I ain't trying to hit you in the head and cause some damage, bro. But. Bruise, but that's it. Hear me, Doc? You really want me to hit you? Of course I don't. But it's got to look real. So go ahead. Aim right where I showed you. Do it fast. Now. Ouch! Oh, son of a bitch, motherfucker! Oh, shit. You okay? Damn, Sean. Thought I said tap, not smash. Fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I asked for it, man. Now you better get out of here. Stat. I owe you, Joey. Only when you find your brother, and you will. So move your ass. You found that dirty ass outfit. Get too far. But hey, 
I brought this on myself. So, are the police on your ass or what? Shit, yes. <laughs> Pigs want me to knock on everybody like they fucking believe me. So, how bad is it? Here, I, let's say, I still got one left. John, I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, John. I'm really gonna miss you. Much love and respect. Peace, much love. Always. Peace, much love. I gotta go now. Take care of him. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself too. He do know how to hotwire cars. Somebody watch it? Stupid. Then created a little super villain, a little mischief, mischievous child. My boy, not even being subtle about it, he's speeding out of there. Okay. My boy out here looking like Brad Pitt or something. Justin Bieber when he cut his hair. The Mr. and Mrs. Smith Brad Pitt when he had a haircut. <laughs> Commander Shepard as hell, bro. If you ever play, shout out. If you ever play uh, Mass Effect, shout out to you. But you know what I mean, the, the base, uh, the base form of uh, Commander Shepard that they use for every uh, character, Brad Pitt as hell.
Okay. Part of me still be thinking about uh, Life is Strange 1 to like make me think like I want if Max is hearing about this story or something like that. Guess this is my room for the night. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Listen to Joey. This is a mess. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. My boy going through hell for this, uh, for his brother. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, 
what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try I to try to be honest no about it, bro. Jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> Oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Yes, sir. Me too. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that Jen, huh? <laughs> Who? Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. <laughs> you know. Going okay. I guess. Lila was the one for you, bro. That was like pulling teeth. Well... I've got a week to find out the truth. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Not much to say. Okay, okay. Keep your secrets to yourself. I won't pry. Ah. Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for every <laughs> night. Yes, it's so cool. Hey, Sean, don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Oh, sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah, I know. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's stupid, but I miss you. Show your pops some love while y'all can, man. But this is all. You lucky enough to have your pops? I know. Show him some love, bro. Give him his flowers. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way, Sean. Hey, wake up. Huh? huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. Drive. What are you talking about? No need to. I'm leaving. Let's go. Now. I'm not gonna step out of the car, bro. You deaf? I said out. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I drove for so long. I I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. 
He's just a kid, and he's Mario, get look. your Mario yeah. overall what ass out of here. Right? Move, bro. Uh, I got into a fight. Of course. Bet you deserved it. Move it. <sighs> Please, I just want to go. Ho oh, ho, what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh yeah, did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. What? Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it, let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Let's see. Let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's Hold got on nothing. a second, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Are oh, you racist? This nigga racist, bro. Come on, bro. You gonna call me Pedro? Now, if I what? say something out of pocket, come on, bro. What? what? Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say you I'm a dirty thief? Don't do this. Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So... One more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off. By not that? saying nothing? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition, and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! What the fuck, man? Wow. Yeah. Holy cow! What are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go now. <gasps> Drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man. Okay? I need gas. Damn, man. I'm sorry, y'all. It'd be like the ego, bro. As a man, sometimes you gotta stand on business, bro. And I'll be like, bro, you do, you, you, you being racist to me, bro. I'm not finna comply to you, G. I know that was, it might have sound stupid, it might have looked stupid, but it just, 
my nature as a man, bro. Sometimes it's sometimes you don't have to get in a pissing contest, but you being disrespectful, bro. So the the wolf brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. All right, y'all, I'm going to end this gameplay right here. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next gameplay. Yo!